Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glisten Ralph here. Gonna be playing once again against U Factor. This is just a casual vintage game. Casual vintage, as you do. A uh, Yorian in a Storm deck. Here's to hoping. Uh, meanwhile, I am playing a uh, Golden Gun. So let's see. Golden Gun. So I'm gonna be trying to get a hasty Emrakul or Blightsteel Colossus. So this ought to be fun. Uh, neither of us know what the other's on, so unlike our league matches, this one is not going to be open deck list. Uh, this has a Tinker without an artifact, but it has a Preordain, so I'm going to keep. I'll say... Keep... La la, keep. There we go. Instead of Keep. Alright, let's see. Alright, so here goes nothing. Make sure we're recording. We're recording. Cool. Okay. So we're both keeping. So I'm going to start off with... The bait, I guess, because I, I like to keep my fetch lands. There is a case to be made for deck thinning here, but I like to keep my fetch lands if possible. So, uh, since I have two fetch lands, you see, and both brainstorm and ponder are restricted. Uh, so there we go. We're gonna see if that resolves. No response. Look at the top two. Look at the top two. There we go. It's a touch pad, so I do worry that every now and then it's just gonna yank on me. Oh boy! We have Tinker, and now we have a way to actually get it. So let's see. We're going to put this on the bottom. We're going to keep Oko. Hello? There we go. There we go. And then draw the card. Now, this is a bit slow, but Oko on turn three into Tinker on turn four. You know, it's maybe. <laughs> this is actually really slow. That uh, At least we can see a light at the end of the tunnel now. So I'm going to pass the turn. All right, and there's Yorian. So uh, if, if they're playing 80 plus card, <laughs> if they're playing an 80 plus card deck in Vintage, uh, and it's Storm. Oh boy, I do not know what to expect. I mean, you have the usual suspects. You're going to see like a Bolas Citadel. You're probably going to see Tink. Well, of course you're going to see Tinker in there. That's the thing now. Oh jeez, that is a lot. Oh, they that's right. They stacked them on top like that. Would you mind spreading the mana sources out a bit, please? I don't mean to sound rude, but you know, just making sure, as you do. All right. If they if they wouldn't mind, I would appreciate that. It makes it easier for you to see, for me to see, all that jazz. Okay. Uh, well, it's Storm. I do know it's Storm, and they're not likely to have something like Days. That seems awkward. Um, how likely... Like, this This isn't resolving. I don't want to wait too long, though. We'll just play a fetch land. Hey. And say, pass. We'll, we'll see if we can get them to... I, I don't want to give them another turn, to be honest. And, and it is a, a Yorian deck, so they're less likely to have counter magic, or the counter magic they have is more likely to not be great. Uh, unless they filled those extra slots with things like Mana Drain, which is possible, but it's a Storm deck. So those counter magic tends to be dead when you're playing Storm, unfortunately. Ooh! Boop! Let's see if this resolves. I mean, alert response, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Two for one. Oh, misdirection! <gasps> okay. <laughs> nice. So they spent two cards, gained three, and I lost one. That's, that's pretty decent. There's a reason why misdirection used to see a lot of play. Oh, jeez. Carry it down here. Hey, there we go. So this should, yep. Whew, uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're a bit behind now. Yeah. Hmm. That that is I don't know if they already had it. They might have already had it, but that is one of the issues with waiting until end of turn to do it. You give your opponent another card with which to fight you. Uh, and because this is a format with a lot of free counter magic, it's not like do it at end of turn, they use up you know, mana drain mana or something, and then you go on to your turn. Uh, boy. Well, a mox would be nice. That's not a mox. Maybe I should have cracked it just for deck thinning, actually. That's okay. 
That's okay. We'll play the fetch land. It represents a little bit more. Alright. Well, we're in trouble if we don't hurry. Also, I do like that the storm deck played its moxin out kind of early. Um, because those are spells for the purpose of storm. So, that may help out a little bit, but Paradoxical Outcome's a card. So, I mean... With that many cards in deck, there's no way they're not running Paradoxical Outcome. I would I would be exceedingly surprised. Yeah. Oh, they didn't spread them out. Oh, I, I see what they're doing. Uh, that isn't quite what I meant, but that's okay. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not actually OCD, but... Ugh, that's okay. Alright. Whale. You know, I wonder if they might have... Um, what's it called? Um, th there's a, a two-mana artifact from Scar's Block, where if it enters or leaves play, or maybe it enters or hits the graveyard, you draw a card. So you draw a card for two mana, and then you can potentially draw a card later. With Paradoxical Outcome, it's an expensive way to keep drawing cards, because you just replay it over and over. It's not something that's really viable, but this is a Yorian deck. Maybe to fill the extra slots, they could put something like that in. Oh, I, I need to say, no response. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see the K now. My bad. Got to talking. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, so here we go. EOT, I can crack these just for... Yeah, I can crack them just for deck thinning. I don't need more lands at this point. We have plenty of lands. Uh, I, I'll crack one of them. This is usually the less threatening one. So we'll do this first. Just one. It'll deck thin me a little bit, but it leaves me one with which I can play, uh, say, like a Brainstorm or a Ponder if I find it. Um, since we've already seen Strip Mine, the island actually seems pretty decent. I think that that's what I'll get. Because now Wasteland... Now, Strip Mine is weird in a Storm deck anyway. Uh, but... Oh well, let's see. Plus, I have the Bayou in hand, so I'll have all my colors. Now I will go to draw. Vamp Tutor. Well, that's interesting. I don't... I wouldn't like to wait, though. I, I would like to go for the, the kill sooner than later. So we're gonna crack our fetch here. Vamp Tutor is fine, it'll give me another shot, but this is not a good matchup for Oath. The actual card, Oath of Druids. Uh, we're going to be on a different game plan. I'm assuming that the Storm deck is not going to stifle anything here. I'm assuming. Ah, boy. So, I guess we'll get another Trop. Okay. Let's see if Yoko resolves. Jeez, did you see how slow that is? This thing is crawling. Alright. Uh, see if Oko makes it. Yep, yep, I'm gonna go with probably not. I mean, they could at least spin the, not spin the top. Yeah, they could spin the top. Um, yeah, that's possible. Oh, they're cracking now. Okay. That's interesting. No mock sapphire to see what's on first, and then if you don't like it, you can crack, then tap it again for the one mana to look, and then you can spin that. You can spin the top to get a card off top. I think that's more that's optimal, unless they really desperately need this extra blue mana, like they need what uh, hard cast force of negation. I I don't I don't know that this is right. Uh, but it's okay. It is what it is. Jeez, can you please split these up, dude? Okay. Um. Heard me. There's Mana Drain. There you were. About Mana Drain in Storm. LOL. Alright, that's three mana. That's not great. That's not great, but we have Vamp Tutor in hand. So, we'll have a few more shots to go off. 
we, we do need to hurry, though. Uh, what we'll probably end up doing is going Vamp Tutor for Mox Jet, I guess. Vamp Tutor for Mox Jet, and then Tinker Blightsteel is probably what we're going to do. All right. Whale, and we'll do that on upkeep, by the way, so that we actually get to draw the card. Hmm. I mean, they can just cast Yorian just to have a 4-5. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Hmm. Oh, uh, do they need something else from me? Oh, oops. Oops, I didn't pass. My B. Whale. Whale. <laughs> nice number of cards in deck. Oh, before you draw. Before you draw, I hope you see that. Yo, nice. Optimal. You, you can't get 69 cards in deck if <laughs> if you only play 60. As it turns out. I, I say that, now I'm imagining someone figuring out a way to make that happen. Alright, so, reveal the top three. Yeah, and this had, they still haven't gotten the man off mana drain just yet. That happens in main phase. Beginning of your next main phase. Ooh sideways over here. It is hot in here, folks. It is hot in here. Alright, so they drew. Yeah, spinning the top on upkeep. Alright, so there's three mana. Ooh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so now I have to try to think of what else can get me out. Because we have strip mine potentially lock it. <gasps> you know what? No, we'll just get Oath. That's fine. No, no. No, that's not fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. So we'll go... I'm about to get presumably Bayou stripped, though. So I'm not going to be able to get it immediately. Hit the Bayou. It's the one generate... Oh! Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, we're in the game. We're actually in the game now. <gasps> no, we're not. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How's this worded? No, other non-land permanents you control. Okay, you own and control. No, it doesn't matter, because even if they blink a token, they're going to have Yorian. Upkeep. If this does not resolve, then we're probably dead. We need to, like, top deck... A, an oath, I think. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Alright, let's draw. Top deck oath would be nice, but alas. Hmm. I could just try to keep my land count high. S strip mine isn't great. So, they can use Strip Mine again to take out one of my lands. Forbidden Orchard is going to make any color, so it's fine. Uh, if I can find an artifact soon, I can tinker. Just an artifact at this point would be nice. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, EOT, spin the top, I would think. Yeah, that Crucible. Are you sure? This is Storm? Oh, wow, I can spell. Paradoxical Storm, I guess. It could be. I don't know. But this is definitely not... I can see Teferi in Storm. I can see some counter magic. But I am I am missing something. Gross. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, oh, gross in response to the Forbidden Orchard. Yeah, um, Forbidden Orchard does mean they're probably going to have to strip the orchard itself. Um, I would think. Maybe. Oh boy, what's this? Uh, okay. Hit this, hit it, I dare you. I dare you. Island. Bloop. Okay, well, that's not what, this is not what I would have expected. Sorry for piloting your deck for you. I don't, I don't mean it like that. All right, so let's untap, let's draw, please, for the... Well, this basically just buys us another turn. <laughs> and yes, I realize that my lands are migrating. Slowly but surely, they are migrating. I can play the strip mine next turn. That's probably what I'll end up doing so that I can keep one orchard in my, in my back pocket. All right. And then end of turn top. We'll see. Well, I am itch. So I think what's going on, folks, is that there's a hair right here that has that keeps falling down, and just one hair that just goes over and itches. Man. Or it could just be that I've had four tons of caffeine. That could be it too. You know, approximately four tons of caffeine. You know, as you do. Ooh. Okay. So they don't they don't like what they see. They're gonna shuffle it away. I'm winning, folks! <laughs> the the Vamp Tutor, I believe that the two life is not part of the cost, it's part of the effect. Oh no, it is part of the cost. Oops. Oops. Oh, well, 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 wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I remember. At some point. Vampiric Tutor. Let me, let me just make sure, let me look at a newer printing, because I think this actually came up previously, when... Someone pointed out to me. Oh no no no! It's like thought sees. It has to resolve. I'm looking at the uh, the oracle text right now. I'm sorry, you can't you can't see that, but uh, there we go. Cool. Okay, cool. Change it from 18 to 16, 16 to 18. Okay. They're gonna they're not gonna have a clue what that's about. I imagine. <laughs> Just randomly lose two life, gain two life. I drain two on myself. For some reason. Okay, so we have red mana. This could be Pyromancer. That seems okay. Pyromancer seems fine. As long as we can not miss land drops and they don't draw anything, which they're gonna keep drawing stuff, top is out, then we have a chance. Not a good chance, but a chance. If we draw an artifact, we can tinker. If we draw an oath, we can start going off. So this will be fun. Hit the bayou. That's the one unique one. Please tell me you're going to hit the bayou. I am bad at this guessing game. We're not going to float in response. That, that may be why they did that. But they didn't do it last turn, which is a little... I don't know. I don't know. I give up. I, I wonder what the reasoning may be. I can't see their hand. They're soul ring. Okay. Okay. KO. Okay. Ness from Earthbound. What is it, Mother 2? Earthbound is Mother 2, right? Um, you know, that's not great. That's not kind that's not what we want to see. I'm gonna tempt them here with the strip mine. Please take please hit the strip mine. See if they'll do it. See if they'll bite. They've made some weird decisions, so I don't know, but it's possible, maybe. Question mark? Alert response. Spin the top again. With the mock sapphire that's buried down there. Ah, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty hard for them to lose at this point. Uh, they've had top going for so many turns, it seems hard for U-Factor to, to lose from here. I kept a hand that, while it did something, it, it didn't have a win con, it didn't have counter magic. It had a way to get there, so I figured it was better than an average 6, but in retrospect, maybe it wasn't. Well, not an average 6, like a better than average 6 because of the mulligan rule. 
Just put your worst card on the bottom. So yeah, maybe I should have mulled. It, it's it's fine. I'm still learning the deck. Uh, when you when you have a preordain, it makes it easier to do. Okay. Place your bets. What on earth is this strip mine going to hit? Or could it be the the fabled uh, fetch land? It's it's strip mine. Yeah, they're strip mine. Okay, they're gonna keep stripping. Ha ha. Ha ha. I am funny. Okay. We're still not going to do it. Man. Huh. We're still not out of the game. We just need to draw... something? Something would be nice? Yeah, you know. You know, actually, Abrupt Decay would get us back in the game. And Abrupt Decay is a one of in this list. Although I don't think we're... I think we're out of time now. That should be it now. Oh! There's no way this is Storm. Oh my goodness. Let me go back up in here, because... Oh, does it... It, didn't, it doesn't go further back than that. I am positive they said Yorian Storm, trying to make Yorian Storm work. Oh boy, okay. Well, now we almost officially lose. But, you know what? You win 0% of the games where you can see. So, I'm gonna keep playing. What do I have to lose? Well, there's a dig through time, but we won't have the mana for it. So now we are officially out of this. Um, now Oath will not save. Well, no, Oath will save us still because they have a, they have a creature now. They have a consecrated Sphinx. Did they draw their? Yeah, they did. Good, 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 good. Uh, we'll pass. So now we can use an artifact and a land. It would actually it would need to be an artifact at this point. We'll we'll play an artifact and spend three mana. Oh, it would need to be. Uh, specifically Mock Sapphire, because I need blue mana for Tinker now. Oh boy, we are in a bad spot, folks. Uh, no, we're, we're pretty much reliant on Oath and the exceedingly unlikely chance that Oath resolves. Exceedingly unlikely. It's not going to happen. Like, they, they don't jam the Consecrated Sphinx there. Uh, well, actually, they, they probably think that I don't have anything, because I don't, and I've been telegraphing that pretty hard by my lack of plays. Alright, that's good. I'm going to get back Strip Mine. They're going to put it in the face-down pile first. I'm not exactly sure why they do that. Just to... I don't know. Alright, which one are you hitting? Orchard again. Okay, I was, I was going to be a little confused. Now that they have a creature, I don't need to tap it in response. You know, there's a chance. No, 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 no. They have to know. Oh, jeez, this is itchy. They have to know that I'm on Oath. Because I play Forbidden Orchard times three. It's actually times four in the list overall, but they've seen three. Uh, so this is a 6-6? Six, six, 4 6 Doot, 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 doot. It's slow, but it's getting there. Yep, there we go. Alright. Pass to me, and then they get to draw a couple cards. Consecrated Sphinx and Vintage, folks. The most serious of, of matchups. <laughs> uh, the name of this is something like uh, Competitive Vintage Testing. This is not my most competitive deck. Well, this is the one I'm playing in the league. Clearly worse than Yorian. Yorian should have entered. There's Yorian. I'm going to say no response. So this... This dig through time looks a little awkward. We could get out of it with a Black Lotus. Black Lotus making blue would get me a dig through time. And that might be enough. I could go Black Lotus on blue, dig through time if I could find Oath. Now I have a green source, but uh, if I didn't, if they hit the bayou here, which that's the next land they're going to hit, then we're looking at like Oath green source if it resolves on the extreme off chance that it resolves. All right, here we go. 
But of course, you always want to draw a black lotus. Oh, we have a blue. We have a blue source again. That's fun. All right. Gonna pass. Just keep playing lands. Again, you win 0% of the games where you concede. Alert response. Spin the top. Conveniently, Dig Through Time does not make me draw cards, and so for Consecrated Sphinx, that matters. Yeah, it is simply adding them to hand. Put them into your hand. Well, and we wait. Alright, so there we go. Everything's untapped. <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna bring back Strip Mine and please, please hit Bayou. That. Do something that makes sense, please. <laughs> I don't know what to believe in otherwise. Because the other two, I could fire off in response. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Black. Alright. And then presumably immediately go to combat. So that the floating man. Yep, there we go. No response. Hey, we got there. They're playing this part correctly, for sure. And this is a 4-5? Ooh, boy. We really don't have time. Oh my goodness. I think it missed some inputs. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, Whale. Now what gets us out of here? They both fly, so I think zero cards in my deck will save me here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So now, oh, uh, what is the, oh, discarding the hand size. What else did they discard? Just Dak? Okay. Ooh, that's not a great sign. Well, there's not really any value to be gained from brainstorming, so we're just going to crack it here. And plus, they're both four powers, so the difference between six and five does not matter here. Uh, we're going to find a card. Going to find a trop, number three. Move it all the way over there. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, much too late. Game two. I mean, that would be fun. I'd be okay with that. All right. How do we? Oh, jeez. It does that. It does that. If you accidentally scroll a bit too high. Scoop deck. Scoop all cards to deck. And then the second bit, play another. Then the second bit... I guess we don't yet, because it's still going. You know what? Sure. Keep existing deck. Yeah, this is, this is casual. Super duper casual. So we're going to... Oh, I guess we'll just play game one again. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just play... We'll play game one again. That's okay with me. Alright. Here goes. Ha-ha! It would be super greedy to keep this. Can't keep, but would like to check. You know what? There's a side of me that wants to do this so hard. <laughs> so hard. You go turn one bizarre, turn two, draw your card, uh, then draw your card off bizarre, get Taxium Probe. Oh, I want to do this so badly. This is absolutely the wrong play. Can't keep, but would like to check. Oh, man. Oh, I want to. It has three Tutors and Oath and Karn. Oh, man. Why am I... Okay, you know what? We're gonna meme. Meme time. Keep... See if they are, too. Meme time, folks. All right, Mull. Okay. Oh, well, actually, no. It's, this might work out. <laughs> Maybe. 
Well, okay. Wiggle. Wiggle. I mean, if they go turn one strip mine on my bazaar, I'll live. It'll be okay. I'll, it'll be all right. This absolutely should not work. Hello? There we go. Alright. Meme time. I would not keep this if this were a real game, but I want to so badly, folks. You have no idea. Okay. So, misdirection blue card. Blue card. Uh, probe? Okay, so I do have to worry about that. Uh. Mind staying revealed? Yeah, double top. Maybe this is some weird, like, snow storm? Snow storm. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Alright, so that's good. We will draw Monster Cado. That's close. That's not a monster car, but that's close. And then we'll play our library. I think I may have said bizarre earlier. Alright, so we get two more shots. We get two shots here. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. So the way this is worded, you may blah, blah, blah. Ch target spell with a single target targets another target instead. Target, 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 target. Okay. Cool. Uh, this is an ability. So other than th this is an ability. This is an ability. So otherwise, we're good. Uh, reveal all once. There we go. Not keeping revealed. Shoutouts to Dark Reader for making some of the te of the backgrounds that would have been white, uh, making them black instead. Just makes it a little bit easier on the eyes. Not much, but a little bit helps. Okay, cool. Oh, by the way, uh, guess they're thinking about the next line. Yeah. What a keep. <laughs> I, I live on the edge, folks. I'm living on the edge. Alright. Whale, they, they found a land. So, there's only one uncard, unknown card in the hand. I'm not sure. Maybe they did this because next turn they can go brainstorm with Prismatic Vista. Maybe. Alright. So, what we find? Tap. Draw. See if they get the reference. <coughs> it's it's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's the anime. Um, uh, some none of the cards in that show work the way that they actually do in the game, except uh, Pot of Greed, which they had to explain every. That's the worst card to draw. Oh boy. Well, we still have Emrakul in the deck. I know Emrakul would be worse, actually. No, no. Emrakul would be better, because if we find Channel, then we can get an extra turn, at least. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, that's awkward. Because um, they know, um, unless they have a suspicion on what this might be, that I can't play anything off this. It's okay. If we find another mana source, we'll be able to play the Oath mana source, and then uh, use the library to draw a card next turn. Otherwise, we'll have to use the library for Oath. I guess we'll pass. There's not much I can, not much I can do from here. We're pretty close to the point where we can just cast Oko, though, if we need to instead. I would rather cast Oath and then have library up. But if this is Storm, and it does not appear to be Storm, but if this is Storm, then... Well, no, this is a slow hand. It's okay. Alright. Brainstorm? Yeah, we're going to let that resolve. Yeah. There's your mental misstep check. And see what cards they would like to put back. You may hide your... Oh, they didn't. Uh, too late. I was about to say they can hide their hand. 
they, they may not realize, oh wait, I'm still seeing the cards. Like, I knew one of the tops was going back, it's a redundant card, but... Maybe? Oh, it's, it's fine. What's done is done. I think. Hand a deck. Yeah, the what's done is done. Okay. And now they can shuffle away, as you do. Prismatic Vista is a beautiful card. I like the art, I don't know. Sam Burley. Take your time, take your time. We are we are in okay shape over here. In magical oath land. <laughs> I do have to be careful about shoot about throwing oath out. I may actually want to do Oko instead if I get a mana source next turn, because if they don't have a creature, it's gonna look a little bit awkward with uh Oath, I won't be able to play Oko and start making creatures of my own. That's just how it is. Um, they get Misdirection in, though. Doesn't do anything. Pity. But, oh, they're doing it now. Yeah, let them know. You're good to go. Jeez. All the itchiness. Whew. Did a little bit of a workout before I got started. See if I have time to play game three. If they keep going on like this, maybe not, but I, I also would not like to end it in a tie. Ooh, that's a thing. We're gonna say, yep. We're gonna say, yep. All right, pop it. There we go. All right, what you making? What you making? What you gonna do? Blue, 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 blue. Ooh, Karn. Cran, Karen. It's one letter off of Karen. No, <laughs> no. Oh, it's Dig. I can. I dig it. Ha. 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 That's fine. They they burned a black lotus on a treasure cruise. I guess I can live with that. Basically, they traded Black Lotus for Ancestral Recall. That's, that's, okay. That's, that's good. It does make this next turn a little bit scarier, to be honest. Alright. So, I'm actually going to draw first, I believe. We'll draw first. Gives me a little bit less mana to work with. And then we'll draw again for turn. Okay, so there's Emerald. Insert Emerald Splash reference here. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have had the ability to play Oko anyway if I hadn't done that. Um... Do I just jam Oath? They know it's there. And it could be a bait spell. It could just be bait. I think that might not be the worst idea. Yeah, yeah, I think this is fine. We can use it to bait out something like a Force of Will, because it would have to be Force of Will. Uh, and then, when I get black mana, eventually, uh, I'll try to detutor for an Orchard. Detutor if I can, because it dodged... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you've got Force of Negation. Ooh, what's the blue card? It's Misdirection. Yeah, Misdirection's kind of bad. Uh, Force of Negation does Exile. Okay, that's that's fine. That's what we were... Oh, jeez. Got a tap. That's okay. Uh, that's kind of what we were hoping for. As odd as that may sound, that is kind of what, what we were hoping for. It's going to free up Oko next turn, hopefully. Um, you know, we do know they run Mana Drain now, so it was fine to run it out while they had no mana, so they had to use free magic, if at all possible. Um, we can try for some other spells in here. Um... Itchy Nose is itchy, again. Uh, we can actually generate mana with Manifold Key if we have Soul Ring. We don't, but if we did. Why are you tapping the Tundra? I don't mean to backseat game, I'm sorry, but why are we keeping the island up? Are we playing around Wasteland? Like, you want to make sure that you don't get wasted, and then... I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's a, that's okay. That's good. Okay. 
There's the mana drain mana. Well, I guess we'll fire this off now. Instead of going for Oko. Like, we're just going to try as best we can to flood them in card advantage. Ooh. Ooh. And we still get to try for it. Next turn, we'll have Karn. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy. But, you know, Mana Drain's a card. Well, Mana Drain's going to be a card. Period. Uh, man. If, they, if I use Mana Drain, if I get rid of Mana Drain, at least they won't have the mana to spin the top as well. I guess make him do it. Alternatively, I could go Preordain Manifold Key just to try... I'll have more shots to find counter magic. I guess that's not bad. Since they've already represented Mana Drain, and Mana Drain would give them Yorian potentially, are you going to do it? What is this? Flusterstorm? Oh no, you going to spin first. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, if we hit a Mox, we'll actually go for Oko now. That, that helps us out a little bit, potentially. And let's look at their graveyard again, see what they have going on. And five cards there. So no mental misstep yet. Joys of being restricted. Itchy nose. <sighs> Which may be what they're looking for. I mean, I, I can't imagine what else. Okay, so cool. Cool. Now, let's uh, look at the top two. I was about to hit the draw button. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. I'm, I would be very glad that it's a casual game. Uh, ha, 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 uh, ha, ha, uh, ha, um, we're, we're good on mana now. Thanks. We're going to put both of these on the bottom. The order doesn't matter, I believe. I, I strongly suspect we aren't getting that far. We'll scry two to the bottom. We will draw. Draw. Okay. What is it? Forbidden Orchard. Uh, we still found mana. Oh, I haven't played a land yet this turn. I haven't played a land yet, have I? I played a Mox, didn't I? No? Oh, wait. Oh, no, I don't remember what I played. You know, oh, oh, we have a log. We have a log. All right. So we went library, draw, draw, move tropical island. Aha. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did. We did. I forget that sort of thing, unfortunately. Sorry. So they've, they've pretty well represented that they don't have mental missteps. So the manifold key should be safe. <laughs> Turn it to a 1-1 one -one with Karn. <laughs> and just beat them down that way. Uh, huh. If they start playing Moxen, I would love to be able to just blow up their, their Moxen. I mean, they're already going to be turned off anyway, but it matters for, like, paradoxical outcome. Uh, we're going to say pass. Yeah, we'll pass. And then next turn, I'll have a choose your own adventure. Spin the top again. Just do it. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? And the next turn, we'll have Forbidden Orchard, which, for its faults, does make mana of any color. Which I can use on... A... I shouldn't play too hard around Mana Drain. Uh, there, there's a point where I have to just understand that is going to happen. So I should do D-Tutor first, I think. And then, if I need to, Upkeep Vamp Tutor. Okay. That would give me the chance to go... I'll, they'll have a creature because of Orchard. I'll go and go and get Oath and try to go from there. We're, we're generating a ton of cards. They're getting some good card selection. But we're generating, because of Library, oh, we're getting a lot of cards out of this. Um, I don't have to worry about cards like Flusterstorm, because the ones that I'll be casting, Karn and Oko, are not subject to it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's this? Crucible? Ashiok. Uh, well, that's awkward. That's really awkward, actually. Uh... I'm gonna say that's okay. Alright. Whale. This is this is potentially not the worst thing that could have happened. Alright. 
So presumably you immediately pull the uh, the uh, ability off. Can't search. Oh boy. Well, that invalidates again three of the cards in my hand. That's really unfortunate. But we have library, so we don't. We'll still get cards without it. I will need to start watching out for the number of cards in my deck and make sure that Ashiok doesn't hit Emrakul now. Oh. Oh, it's just a hate bear. Not a hate bear, it's just a hate piece. Hate piece, that sounds weird. Oh boy, okay. Well, hopefully the shields are down. So we're gonna draw, because that is not affected. Can't cause their, uh, okay. Oh, and there's the oath, so we, we can just have our cake and eat it too. Oh, and there's a lotus. Jeez, we can just do all of the things. Oh my goodness. Now, the way that Karn's ability is worded, until your next turn, so I can make... No, they're going to spin the top, so that's not actually that big of a deal. No, no, they can't spin the top once Karn is out. So they'll have to spend it while Karn's on the stack. Let's give myself more mana to fight over with this lotus if I need to. If I need to. Let's... Storm is one. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Okay. Let's try... Should we do... I think we should do Karn first, actually. Because if Karn sticks, they'll have to make a decision about top before Karn sticks. And that'll give them less to try to deal with later. I, yeah, we're going to go for Karn first. Uh, hello. Token. I think that I my opponent has to actually make the token themselves in this, I believe. I may be mistaken, but I think that that's right. Okay. So few things we can do here, folks. Um, depending on how much of a jerk we would like to be... What is this? Oh, okay, that's the token. Whee! <laughs> uh, token. Hey, that works. That works. Um, or we could go get Mycosynth Lattice for next turn. Oath is actually a tiny bit risky now because of Emrakul. Uh, if Emrakul's the bottom card and we trigger Oath, we just lose. Uh, but I, I think it's right to just go off with it. Just, just make it happen. This is a one-sided Null Rod, which isn't great in the matchup, but it does something. Uh, I may... <sighs> yes, yes. We'll be decently likely to get the mana soon anyway, if that's what we're going for. Wait, 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 wait. Let's check the sideboard. Let's check the sideboard. See what else I have. Damping Sphere for if they actually are Storm. Uh, chalice for the same. I could just play a Chalice on zero just to be a jerk. Uh, Mycosynth Lattice is the big one. Uh, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, I think it's still right to go get Oath, play Oath, I guess. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, was thinking, Ooh. you know, I, I didn't give the courtesy thinking. There's that. <sighs> All right, here we go. What you got? What do you have? It, playing the oath here before the Karn ability lets me know if this gets countered. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to do? Looking for a card in. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, if this gets countered, I can animate my own manifold key and maybe hit Ashiok. 
No, 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 I can't because this is a 1-1 one, one, and this is a 1-1. One, one. I mean, I could. It wouldn't do me any good, but I could. Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah, there are enough islands, in fact. Uh, let's see what you have. See what you're working with. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Neither of those are great, but they can't spin the top here. Alright. Discard goes to deck. Flip the top card in deck. It's force. No top. Karn. Yeah, yeah, Karn says no, unfortunately. Alright, we can just put it back. You can just put it back, it's all good. That does mean that the force is going to be a bit too late, though. Um, yeah, that, that does kind of suck, to be honest. Oh! Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant put the Force of Negation back on top. It's fine. This is casual magic. It's fine. <laughs> okay, well, that happened, I guess. Uh, so... Uh, Karn can just plus to do nothing, potentially. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plus to do nothing. If I give them another creature, they'll hit Karn for two. Uh, so we'll add a counter, make Karn six. Targeting... Oh, wow. Nothing. I mean, they already have the creature, so it's fine. This is why I want it to go to. I don't want it to end up being a one-one. That's. I would like for it to be able to go to another game, but these are taking a hot minute. Unfortunately, these these are not the fastest games ever. Uh, to be fair, some of that's me. Good bit of that's me. Yeah. What can you do? This is one of those instances when I wish I had stream. I wish I had chat. Uh, until I get some moderators, until I get faster internet, I'm not going to be able to stream, and until I get some moderators, I'm not going to be able to put chat on screen, unfortunately. But I can have it over the side and just respond to serious questions. <laughs> you know, as you do. Alright. Oh boy. Uh, can you take it down? Oh, it's fine. Well, they'll get there. They'll get there. Hello? Hello? Is this the... Is this not the button I'm supposed to press? Okay, yeah, I'm working on it. Aha! Aha! There we go. So those got expelled. And then expelled. And then expel two. And two. Mock Sapphire, Oath of Druids, Wasteland, Flusterstorm. Okay. We can live with that. Man. That, it could be much, much worse. You know what we're going to do instead? Um... I'm really tempted to just hope that I rip a mana source so that I can hit Ashiok with Mycosynth Lattice. Because obviously they don't have counter magic. Um, well, they could have drawn it now that they did the, <laughs> the full take vaccine. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. See what you're working with. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ooh! Ooh! If. If I draw a mana source, I'll just jam the Mycosynth Lattice. If I... You know, we could just... I do need to be careful. Because actually, the threat range isn't zero. I do have to worry about... Ashiok... Uh, my Emrakul finding itself in the bottom six cards of the deck. Because that wouldn't leave me with a whole lot of time. Going at Karn, I think, right? Or going at me. Let's see. Oh, at Karn. Cool. Blip. 
Oh, man. Whale? Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I don't have time vault on the sideboard. It's in the main board. Alright. Uh, well, we can't use the library here anyway, so we're going to have to draw. Aha! Uh, let's just do it. A wise, a wise man once said, Just do it! Make your dreams! Oh my god, that, that's as intense as I can get. Come true! Synth. Oops. Mike Synth Lattice. And yes, that does mean I skipped Oath. That's correct. I did skip Oath. See if we have time. Oh, I'm going to make myself do it. Got to go. Oh, no. Well, okay. I tried. I tried. Thanks again. No, for real. Thanks again. That was, it's cool. It's cool to get to jam some more. Um, yeah, here's to tomorrow, hopefully, uh, being able to actually get the League game. Uh, Ninja, Ninja Pig, <laughs> Ninja Pig 4 and I. <laughs> I love handles. Obviously missing top trigger was important. Ah, uh, fair. Oh, you know what? Ooh, yeah, okay. Super big misplay there, actually. Super big misplay on my part. Uh, because, uh, like, I guess I just got into I'm gonna win autopilot mode, but I just gave my opponent two more creatures and put Karn at two, and I didn't, even if I did Oath, I would have had a creature to block. Karn was gonna die, and then Mycosynth Lattice doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean, it, it does do... No, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. So... I just, I messed up. Uh, okay, let, so let's do a pretend uh, oath trigger here. See how, what would have happened. I haven't had the greatest luck with Emrakul being near the top of the deck. It's been further down. Cons hey, there it goes. Okay, well, it... <laughs> okay. That would have been fine. Now, had I played Emrakul, had I gotten Emrakul out, Karn still would have died because three creatures, one Emrakul. Karn's at two, Karn takes two, Mycosynth Lattice. Uh, I, I guess, had I been smart about it, Oath Trigger happens, Emrakul comes... No, 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 I wouldn't have had this Orchard. Because Oath is an upkeep trigger. I, I, didn't, I wouldn't have had a chance to draw it. My next draw would have been... An Assassin's Trophy, so it actually would not have mattered. I would have had an Emrakul, and Karm probably would have ticked up for some reason. Uh, so yeah, in an alternate reality where I'm not an idiot... No, I just... I got into autopilot. It happens. When you think you're going to win, and in this case your opponent thinks you're going to win too, I just... Oh well. Got to play more tightly. And also it's late. I'm going to jaw a little bit. It's late over here. All right. But there you go. Live and learn. <laughs> Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.